Oh, that's fun. Look at that. That was an accident. Hey everyone, Trina here, back with another mixed media video. Today I thought we'd play in my square sketchbook. I'm just gonna get started here with some lines. This is the Dewent Onyx pencil, and it's really dark and fabulous. Um, I'm just gonna make some lines just to kind of make the page a little less intimidating. And then we're gonna do some jelly printing and probably a little collage. So I've got two grays here. I've got the blue gray and the gray pill, four shades gray set, and I'm just gonna roll these out. I kind of want them to be separated a little bit. But I just messed that up. <laughs> I'm gonna need some more of that blue gray down here. And then I'm probably gonna go in with palette knife and mess around with it a little bit. I'm okay if it mixes together here at the bottom. I wanna see what happens when we do like a whole thing. I got this pack of dried leaves. So I'm just gonna kind of press those down and see what happens if they leave marks or not. Bye knife here to get that up. Yeah, that didn't really work. Maybe I need to press harder. Let's try just a little brayer. Something's going on there. Oh, and I got a piece of paper there. Hmm, maybe. Oh, that's kind of fun. It's a fun mark. It's really hot here today, so my AC is probably going to be going off like crazy. Um, I'll try to reduce the noise just a little bit. Um, let's come in with this little scraper, a little palette knife. I like this one because it's kind of rounded. Um, you don't want to use anything super sharp on your jelly plate. It will, it can pierce it and then you got a hole and that's not good. But this is a fun one. It's just sharp enough that you can get some pretty fun marks through there. Um, I think I want to come down. And your paint has to be a little wet, which this is drying really fast. So we'll see what we get. I'm okay if it's like a little, a little bit. And I guess I could spray some water on it. Let's do that. I'm going to spray a little bit of water on it and see if that loosens it up a little bit. I don't want to have to press too hard. But this is more like a traditional mono print idea and where you take away things that you don't want. So I'm just kind of, oh, that's fun. Look at that. That was an accident. Look what happens when you spray water on it. How did I not know this was a thing? You guys been holding that on me? Look at that. That's fun. Okay, we're going to let that do its thing, I think. Okay, that. That's really cool. Like, I maybe use it too much, but look at those really fun patterns we're getting there. That's interesting. Okay, I'm probably going to have to let this dry now for a while. I kind of just want to make, I can see I'm just kind of taking some bits away. It might be too busy, maybe. I don't know. As we all know, I am not a minimalist. Okay, let's let this dry and see what, what we get as far as what sticks and how it dries. Okay, this dry took about five minutes with the hair dryer on cool. Um, I'm just going to roll out very gently because I don't want to mess up what we just did. Some matte or acrylic medium. That's going to release the paint so that we can print onto our sketchbook page. 
So let me this up. We just realized that this is probably going to be bigger than my page. That's okay. We're still going to do it. I'm going to like right there. Oh, it's actually not that bad. I cut off a little bit here at the bottom. And the sketchbook is watercolor paper. Oh, you can see my fingerprints. <laughs> watercolor paper. That looks pretty cool. I hope it all transfers. Um, I think it's 140. It's got a pretty good texture to it, but I'm okay with that. That's a fun start. That was a really cool technique. We got some pretty cool lines in there, even though I covered up all my drawing lines, but um, there's still some more on there, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop there, I think. I really like what's going on here. Let's come in a little closer. You guys can see. That's really some fun stuff going on there. I think this is a good place to start. I might need some solid marks through here, so I'm going to think about that. So we're going to use the shades of gray, warm gray here. Lay down a little bit of mask. Very sticky paint. It's super humid here today. I'm not sure if that's causing any strife. We're going on with the netting here. Let's add a little texture. Um, I might want to take... No, I think I just want a, a, just a little bit of definition. I think just oh, it's right in the middle, right there. I could press on it. I do have a plastic sheet on my jelly plate here in the back. So it makes it easier to rub. If you tried this without it, it would probably just stick right to the plate. Okay, so yesterday I did some image transfers um, onto the medical exam paper because I want to see how that yeah, reacts. Quick video of me so making I'm just gonna those cut papers. Out um, I rolled out some oxide black, put down a laser print of the leaves that I printed with my laser printer, pulled it up, and there you have the print. And then I just put down the paper after that for a very light print um, to use in collage. Let's lay down some matte medium, sort of in the area. It's going to be really hard to do. I'm just going to put it all over. It, it's matte medium. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, spray this down with water. If you have gloss medium, you can use gloss medium. It doesn't really matter, except you'll have more glossy finish. I prefer the matte medium because I don't like the shininess of Lost medium, and that just got all twisted. Okay. I kind of want it somewhere here. That was a little bit easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's get some more matte medium here and just smooth this out. You see how that just melts right into the paper the wet medical exam paper. I just love it so much. Another shout out to Jackie Bernardi because she's amazing. But she puts out new videos on Saturday, so you should probably go check her out too. Okay, I like that. It's got a very batiki feeling about it, which I'm kind of loving. So I thought it needed a little something. So I'm gonna add this little piece right here. Sort of bring it down a little bit. And just gonna plop it down there. Ooh, that one's getting curly. Okay. It's a little 
Oh, I think that's in the paper. Okay, found this sheet of paper. And I think I want to add a little bit of it through here. Take out my pencil. I can kind of see it. So I'm just going to draw a little line here where I want it to be. And cut that out and we'll glue that down. Okay, I'm going to put it right through here. I kind of changed my mind on the placement of it a little bit. And so I kind of want to create some tension through that little section. Kind of see the blue coming through, which is nice. And I'm going to add a little piece here too, just in this area, just to bring some color in. Color, tension, it needs some contrast though. We're going to have to up our contrast a little bit. I didn't get enough water. Oh, that's probably too much. Hello. Luckily, the paper can handle it. Okay, I squeezed out some Payne's Gray from Liquitex. I'm just going to come in with a color shaper. I'm going to add some solid bits here. I don't think I want black. I think this panes is going to be nice addition. Gonna give us a little bit of solid spaces to contrast what we got going on there. It's just a little chaotic. Now I like a little bit of chaos. I don't really want that much. Okay, okay I'm gonna add a little bit more through here. I'm okay if it covers it up a little bit. And let's bring it all the way across. But oh, that's interesting how it, you still get the shape with the overlay of color through there. That's nice. Okay, I'm gonna come through here, add some through here. And I'm going to bring it all the way up. Okay, I'm going to add some parchment up here. Oh, man, my brush wasn't clean. Oops. Um, and I think I want some little bit down here. And maybe just a little bit through here. I'll do a little bit of a bold move here. I'm going to take the tree stencil here. Just going to add some of these shapes through here. So I think we need some more organic shapes. Probably should have used a brush. <laughs> Oops. Just through here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I should have used a brush. I made a hot mess out of that. Okay, I didn't like that, so I'm scraping it off, sort of. I like the idea, but it didn't execute very well. I'm going to come in with this Art Deco, Deco Color marker. This should give me the effect that I wanted, hopefully. I did dry this, just so you know. I'm not working on wet paint. How far down do I want to bring it? I kind of want to bring it 
a little bit of the way down. And hopefully this will give me, okay, I just want it right through there. Okay. A little better. Still not quite what I wanted. Okay, we got a little paintbrush now. I'm gonna try this. Because I liked what was going on over here, but I kind of want it to be just a little bit more. I don't think I want it to go through there. It might down here. Okay, that's better. That's kind of better. I like that. I decided I wanted more. kind of a neat way to add some lumpy textures to things. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Let's add some Azo Gold to this piece. Give it some life. Just right through here is good. Where else? And I think I want to do just a little bit through here too. Okay, I think I want to bring this down. Just into this area a little bit. Don't want it to go all the way off. That's kind of a fun mark there. Want to bring it all the way down? I don't think I do. At least not in this moment. Maybe at some point. Okay, I think I'm going to bring it all the way down into this area too. Maybe lighter. I think that shape is. It's kind of jutting though. Let's, let's bring it. Good Lord, just put it everywhere. I don't know why I even bother. Just put it everywhere. I'm going to stop it right here at this edge though. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't like how it's there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to add in a little bit of the distressed oxide through here. Just a little bit. We've got some left on here, so let's put it through here. Ooh, that did something. I think I want to put like a little bit through here. I don't know how to do a little bit, but we'll see. Spray it this way. Okay, it doesn't like to spray upside down. Oh god, that's way too much. <laughs> yeah, that was way too much. Um, that's okay. Let's let it drip down. Let it sort of do its thing. Let's do... Y'all, I love these distressed oxides. I love the, the way they flow. I like the marks that you get with them. Really fun. Highly recommend. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Okay, we're going to let all that dry, I think. So there's some interesting things happening over here. I just want to add in just a little bit of the walnut stain. So I thought it needed a little bit of something, something there. 
I got everywhere. Oh, well, um, I got a little bit left here. Where are we gonna put this? I think up here. Which side? There's I'm on each side, so it doesn't matter really. I might love this stuff too much. I don't know. I probably use it way too much. Okay, we're going to stop there. Let's go in and add some dark marks to here with the ladder stencil. Dry brush. Black Mars Black Paint from Liquitex. I'm going to add some up here too. Sometimes it's good to go in with just a dry brush because then you can get these sort of hacky looking lines that are more sort of with the paint showing through, not solid. Okay, I'm going to come in with the Karen Dash okra here. Um, I think I just want to add a line. I don't know why I want to add that line, but I do. Kind of just want to bring it through here. Kind of trying to break up and add some dimension to it. I'm going to add some of it over here as well. I got a little carried away with stencils. I just want to add some solid pieces. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. Some sort of organic marks. Do I want to fill that in? I don't think I do. I don't want to put a line there. Okay, so I think it needs the even more contrast. It's just looking very flat to me. So we're going to take some just white Liquitex. It's not really, I don't know if that's doing it for me. I'm just going to add a few touches of bright white. Let's see if we can push and bring some of this back, bring some forward. Push and pull. Get some contrast going. And it's looking like it's not even going to be that white. Um, it's a little bit over here. Maybe we get in there and push down. Oh, there we go. I need that to be more solid. How much paint can we put on one spot? Okay, I'm gonna add just a bit of these white dots through here. Oh, I got color on there, oops. Oh, I like that. That sort of did something for me. So it's not so much of a solid shape starts to tell the same story as the rest of the dots i think let's um i'm gonna put a few over here too those are lighter i don't use a lot of white in my work but i was watching oh i can't remember her name right now i think it wasn't karen rice Anyway, I'll find the video then and I'll post it in the comments. Um, where she's talking all about contrast and talking about how when something's not working, that sometimes adding contrast and taking risk is something that we need to do. So I don't use a lot of white, but I feel that the white in this piece really brought it together. 
And a few dots here and there. Do we need dots there? We need dots there. Let's do these dots. Just a little bit to sort of bring it together. Okay, I'm done now. I think that's it. I think I'm good. I feel like it's done. Um, let me think about it for just a second. Okay, here it is finished with the mat. I like it. I think there's some really interesting areas, although I kind of lost all of the <laughs> tissue paper that I put down. You can kind of see it in some areas like right through here, but that's okay because it's all about building layers. Um, I think this part over here might be my favorite with the distressed paint and the paints gray and the white dots. I think that's really nice. I sort of like this area through here. I really like what's going on here with the rusty and the lines. It feels very industrial to me. Um, I really like the stuff down here that I left from the very first prints that we did with spraying water on the jelly plate. Um, I think the white really adds something to it. Uh, it's almost like the the opposite, you know what I mean? The inverse of what we've got going here with the stencil and down here. And then we added some more of that rust in. Um, actually, if I matted this, I'd probably slide it over just a little bit more so we can get more of this side. Um, but overall, very happy. Very happy with it. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep dropping comments. I want to hear your thoughts. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And there might be a video tomorrow. I'm not sure what I have on my plate. Um, if I have time, I will make a video tomorrow, not Monday. So like and subscribe and click over here to see the last video. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.